Okay, that's little Michael, miracle baby. Anybody got their uh, info card? I go. Okay. Oh, we got three guys. We need to be female. Yeah, I need to. This is good. And the damn TV dinner all damn night. Mm. I, 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 I got TV dinner in the refrigerator. I haven't had a good. Ooh, a nice little meal. What are you drinking? Uh, it's um, orange juice. Oh, yeah. I can't do nothing at all. I'll be, be dead. I got a little bit of all kinds of shit. I got a little kitty probably in. I got a little bit. I'll be dead right here. Okay, mm. Don't do it then. Mm. Orange juice. Mm. Mmm. That's going to be a dog. What? Got him on him. Have to make sure I get some. Yeah. But the thing about that, it goes, it comes out the other way, so I'm going to be here. Oh, mmm. Okay. Fire. <clears throat> I, should be, I, I should be drinking. Who are you here with? Me. Me too. You here with me. Are you on Kai Talking too? You live from Kai Talking too? I didn't hear you. You live in Kai Talking too? No, I live in Philly. Oh. My sister is here selling uh, candles. Oh. Go check her out. Right now, we're going okay. to where we don't have. Nursing every uh, every weekend. Just I gotta see if I can get a ride home. Of course. Oh. You live in Kentucky? Of course. I, I had a bus pass, but the, the, the bus the bus brought me here. Of course. I heard it was over at one o'clock, and the buses stopped running early, like ten o'clock. So it's about bus area. Well, it's just it's a weekend. It's running early as hell. Sunday, it's even shorter. 7 30 I'm running. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. travel with Michael. Two people have to travel. Someone has to travel. And the other one has to travel. I come here before. Sometimes somebody usually gives me a ride home. If, 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 if there's a thousand people living in Kansas, they, they give me a ride. Mm -hmm. I come here. This is the first time I've been here. Somebody here is going to give me a ride? Hopefully. They, 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 they should know me because I, I am the beggar around Kansas. So they know me around here. Yeah. Beg around town. Beg. I, I, I'm struggling. Shit, I gotta beg for them. And as they do, can They want to donate. Hi. Hi. I got a question. Yeah. Okay. Uh, somebody on the live might want to donate to your cause. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm on live. Maybe you can you know, tell them what, 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 what I donate for the kids. I don't so, know. I'm just they, the host tonight. Yeah, ask, maybe you can pin that. Scan that into him. Scan that into him. No, no, no. I'm on live. So maybe, yeah. maybe you can promote, promote, promote your cause on Hello. Live. Please go to the website if you would like to donate to this awesome cause. 
There is a website and there's also a QR code that will download for you guys that you can participate in the auction and also find out more information about Brave Little Hearts, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. They raise money for the um, the kids, the sick kids with hearts. If you want to donate with, it's, it's for a fundraiser. And there, website right there. Website right there. You can donate right there. It's the website. I don't know if you can see it, but you can, the website right there, you donate. Donate. Yeah, I want to donate since I, since I love the kids. Okay, hold on. Since I love the kids. So, if you love the kids, you know, want to say is that, um, you know, we started Brave Little Hearts because we saw that there was such a need for, for families to be able to stay together. Um, children have activities. Uh, when you have your child with, um, that needs additional attention. Um, sometimes uh, the older, more healthy kids um, may begin to resent not being able to do things. So we wanted to make sure that we were able to do everything that a normal family would do. And, you know, we're out here raising funds for, for families so they can go to go on trips. Um, as a family, so they can help pay for parking, things that insurance doesn't cover. Uh, we're just trying to fill in those gaps and let them know you don't have to do it alone. Um, because we didn't do it, and, and we needed each other. Um, what I would just like to add is because this is such a, a journey that a family can't just can't go at it alone. We want to yeah. let families know you don't have to go at it alone. And uh, some of the ways that we do that, uh, for example, we had a family where a child had a uh, heart transplant and respiratory is critical uh, to, to to breathing in your heart and he didn't, they didn't have an air conditioner. So we supply air conditioners to the home because insurance is not going to do it. When you're down here with your family almost every day, the insurance is not going to buy them lunch. They're not going to pay your parking. We had no less than eight therapists and nurses come in to service um, Michael's needs. It sounds odd, but that's a lot of paper towels, that's a lot of toilet tissue, and insurance is not going to cover it. We had to go on auto with Amazon just to make sure that Everything stays sanitized. Insurance does not cover so, so many things. So we are here to try to fill in the gaps. So how you can help us, help families, is you can give to Brave Little Hearts. You can give by just making a straight out donation. You can give by getting uh, raffle tickets. Everything that you see you can volunteer. Now we are, we have been blessed. Everything you saw, like I said in the very beginning, everything happened because of the 10 people you saw in this room. So if you would like to throw your lot with our lot, we would love to have you. We have been blessed by Amazon this year. That's why you see so many of the wonderful items. We have a board member, Siobhan Collins, who uh, works for Amazon. So if you work for any of those large retailers, we can certainly uh, use your partnership so that uh, we can help, so that you can sponsor us uh, to do more things. And I'm going to, I've been given the thumb, stop, so I'm going to give it over to mom. I just want to say thank you all for being here this evening. Thank you for those who continue to uh, be with us since 2014, 14 as well, when Michael was born. Um, he also was recognized by the Pennsylvania State uh, Matt Bradford um, when he was when he passed on March 6th. They were able to uh, bite us down there to the house floor. 
Um, I wanted to say thank you to Representative Greg Scott and again uh, Commissioner Jamila Winder for being here this evening. Um, you two are very dear to my heart and for you to continue to um, give love to me, my family, in the CHD community, um, doing different workshops to bring awareness is um, a great measure. This is a global situation. You can do your homework. I'm not going to give you the statistics, but Michael in 2017 was 2,000, sorry, 200,986 of people who had under five with CHD around the world. And I just wanted, that's the number I keep kind of in my heart, but I want you to understand like this is one of the number one unfortunate fatalities for young people under five. And the World Health Organization is working um, tirelessly to make it one of their goals to figure out why is this happening and how can we do better. It also affects the black community. We want to make sure that we're getting our children free. It's not always offered at birth. We want to make sure that we're one of those families that are advocating for ourselves as caregivers and also as for, for your as a parent for your child. Um, if you need any help with that, we can give you some resources to make sure that you have a better understanding of what you need to look for and how to um, recognize it in your friends, your families. And um, again, I just want to say thank you so much for your time, for all the support you're doing here, and I hope that you continue to enjoy the rest of the evening. At this time, I'd like to call our state representative, Greg Scott. Uh, this is a new district. Greg is uh, he's holding us down. He's doing a great good job. He just had a health screening for uh, with for families and children with um, uh, health or uh, heart issues. So I just wanted to give him an opportunity to speak to you all. Well, good evening, everybody. Can we put a round of applause for this family for the event? You know, I, I am not a pastor by any uh, spread of the word. I do go to church every now and again, mostly online. But um, my my grandmother buried her daughter, who was 54 years old at the time of her death. And when I did, when I went to give my grandmother's eulogy, I looked in the dictionary, I looked in the Bible. And there's a word that describes when a wife loses their husband and when a husband loses their wife. There's a widow widower, right? When a child loses their parent, they're an orphan. There's no word to describe the pain or the grief of when a parent has to bury their child. Uh, there's not one in the Torah, not one in the Quran, not one in the Bible, or the dictionary. Uh, and I believe that's because not even God himself could describe that pain. Uh, and so I am remarkably proud at Naomi uh, and, and, and Will and their entire family for not only just uh, going and grieving so publicly and going, but then to allow Michael's legacy to live on in a way like this. And then to say, hey, you know what? On top of that, we want to make sure that everything that we went through, we don't want other families to go through. We recognize our blessings. So I'm incredibly proud.